everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week, my focus is this super cute Sunny Splash stamp set. It's almost summer here at the Sirwin house. We're very excited about the beach and the pool, so this is right on time for us. Um, I'm gonna show you how to make this fun little card. Um, I pulled in lots of dies um, to go along with it. We have a lot of stamp sets and dies that really coordinate with this stamp set. We're gonna use the Ray, Rays of Light, the new background stamp. Um, I'm also going to use the little sand texture from Ocean Front. All right, let's start with our background. I'm going to use my Stamparatus. I prefer to use my Stamparatus when I am using background stamps. Um, I just feel like you have a whole lot more control over your stamp that way. And if you don't get part of it inked up in the right place or stamped in the right place, um, you can lay it back down and um you know fill in those places that you miss now i can tell that my stamp already has ink on it from the last time so make sure your stamp is clean before you use it luckily it's from making this card so i don't need to worry about it it's the right kind it's the right color of ink which is daffodil delight so i'm going to stamp this on basic white i'm gonna lay it down i've got half a sheet of cardstock in here i really like to use half a sheet, a, a size bigger than I'm gonna need, um, and then trim it down. All right, let's see how it looks. Okay, so see right here, I didn't push enough, so I'm gonna lay it back down, do it again, and voila, it is perfect. Okay, so now let's trim it down. We need it the size of a card front, and I'm gonna make it just a tiny bit smaller, so I'm gonna make it four and an eighth by five and three eighths. All right, so I'm gonna start. Let's see, I want the sun kind of down here in the left corner. So let's start on this side first. Okay. Now we're gonna make this side over here at four and an eight. Okay, and then we're gonna make this side right here at five and three eighths. All right, now let's see how we did with our measuring. I've got a basic white card base. And we're gonna just put this on with stamp and seal. It's leaving just a tiny border of that white. All right, so let me tell you about the other things that I have. We have a palm tree from our In the Tropics dies. I'll have a complete supply list for you. So make sure you hop back over to my blog. I'm gonna cut off the top <laughs> of that palm tree and then cut the whole top off like that. Now I went around those and left a little bit of a place to adhere it. Okay, so don't completely cut it off. And then we'll put that there like that. So this is soft suede and uh, granny apple green. Then, all right, next I have one of our layering diorama dies. I've cut it just in basic white. And I'm gonna stamp it in um, crumb cake with that little sand texture die that I showed you at the beginning. Just add a little bit of texture around the edges. There we go. Now, there is another die that is really, really cool. This is the first time I've used it. It is from the Give It A Whirl dies. It's this circle right here. When it cuts out, it's gonna cut out that center part right there. So we're gonna cut it out of both white and Daffodil Delight. I'm gonna stamp the sentiment here in the middle in soft suede. Wishing you were here. Okay, let's do that again. That didn't do so well. That's why cardstock has two sides. You get two chances <laughs> per piece. All right, let's put this in our cut and emboss machine. Make room for this guy to come over. I've got my magnetic platform on there to keep the die exactly where we need it. 
I'm gonna run that through. And let me show you what it does. It cuts these two apart. So you can save that for later. We're not gonna use that for this card. Now we're gonna cut through Daffodil Delight. And we'll use the outside piece of the Daffodil Delight. Okay, so we'll use that piece. All right, last but not least, the star of the show, this cute polka dot vintage bathing suit. I'm gonna stamp it in polished pink. All right, now grab your paper snips. This one doesn't have a die, but it's easy to cut out. Just stay right on the outside with your paper snips, leaving a little white border around it. Turn the paper, not your scissors, as you're cutting. Stay in the middle of the blades. And you will have it cut out in no time. There we go. Isn't she cute? All right, let's layer these things up. The first thing we're going to put on is our little island. I'm going to use dimensionals. And then we'll grab our palm tree and I'm gonna put a dimensional on the back of that and put just a little bit of glue right there. And we'll put that right in the middle like that. Now I've got a piece of this fun, let's see if I can remember what it's called, metallic mesh ribbon. I don't use this very often, but boy, it's really neat. I'm just gonna cut off a little bit, a little piece like that. I'm gonna kind of make it messy, all right? And then I'm gonna just set it there. I don't need to worry about putting adhesive underneath it because I'm gonna use dimensionals for the next pieces. So I can just put these dimensionals on top of it and that will keep it in place. All right, so first we've got our white circle like that. All right, for this piece, many dimensionals fit right in there. And we'll put that around that like that. And then last, we'll put our little bathing suit. I'm gonna add one more dimensional to her. And let's stick her right there. Okay, now, how about some embellishments? I thought that these in color dots, the parakeet party dots looked really cool. So I'm gonna put those there. I'm gonna do a couple, let's see. We'll do We'll do a couple in the corner and a couple up here like that. And then last but not least, parakeet party twine. I love it. I'm gonna make it kind of small. We don't want it to take over our project. And Let's see, where did I just set my take your pick tool? There it is. Get that off and we're gonna put that right kind of there above the tree like that. Okay, there you go. Wishing you were here. What a fun card to send from vacation. Okay, now click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, grab that free PDF and check out my other two Sunny Splash projects. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.